Photoshop is one of the biggest photo editing and photo making software for Mac, PC, or Linux. Now, there is an iPhone and iPod Touch application developed by Photoshop.com. This application is free and it is called Photoshop.com Mobile. Now, this won't give you all the features that you'll find on the mobile, on the real version, but on the mobile one, you do find some really easy to use and simple editing fix. So if you're on an iPhone, 3G, 3GS, or original, you'll get the options to select a existing photo or take a photo from your camera. But on the iPod Touch, you do not have that help. Now you can do some things like crop it, rotate it, or tilt it. Now as you see, there are some tips or hints here that come up, and you can simply rotate your image by using your fingers and swiping around the screen. This is a really good feature they've added, and it works seamlessly throughout the actual application. There's no counterclockwise, clockwise, 90 degrees, any math or anything involved. Just simple moving your fingers and whatnot. We can go ahead and cancel out of that and we'll put it back in landscape. By pressing this button, we get exposure, saturation, tint, or black and white. We can hide tips or we can dismiss them. I think the tips are all right. They're not that much worth it, but it's okay. As you see, the exposure has made it look really brighter and it's got a cool tone to it. By swiping across the screen with your finger, you can find a saturation feel, whether it be a sepia type of color or a dark black and white color that you find. As you see, the numbers on the top will change by your finger's movement. You can also do tint and black and white. Here where you can go with something like a sketch look, which is something you will find in Photo Booth, an application on Mac OS X. You can also do some things like a focus using the touch gestures on the iPhone or iPod Touch. Now, like I said, in Photo Booth, there are many different effects that you can add, and there's some here. There's about seven of them, and they're not that great, but they are good enough for an iPhone or iPod Touch app. Some of them are pretty useless. Some of them are worth it. You can go ahead and save and exit or save and upload them to your Adobe ID and then get them on your computer. So let's go take a look at that picture that we just saved. Go over here to our photos. Whoops, looks like I selected videos. Here's our photos page. And now we just simply go up here, take a look at this image. There we go. As you see, it's in the same quality and looks spectacular. Now we can email this to a friend or do whatever. So I hope you will check out my other YouTube account, AppleGuy1000.